Three drinking and driving cases all end with probation. As Jennifer Sauceda reports, it's a trend the district attorney's office says needs to stop. Drink and drive and get your little hand slapped. Drink, drive, get probation. And that's pretty accurate and it's very sad. They're mothers of drunk driving victims who not only have heartache in common, they also heard the same verdict in their search for justice. Probation. That's the wrong message that we want to send. And it's very disappointing for us. In one month, three defendants charged with drinking and driving cases have been given probation by a jury. It sends a message to those who are, who are accused of driving while intoxicated or killing someone on the roadway while they're drunk to go ahead and roll the dice and maybe the jury will give them probation when we as a state are offering them prison. Since January, Bear County's DWI task force has tried a handful of intoxication cases. Only two of them have resulted in prison time. We're getting convictions. It's, it's the punishment now that we have to send the message with. And when we have outcomes like this, our families feel like they just got punched in the gut. Jennifer Northway with Mothers Against Drunk Driving says this disturbing trend needs to stop. You can have tough law enforcement and you can have tough prosecution, but without tough outcomes, we're really not sending the message to the community that we need to send. Victim advocates say the message is very simple. Don't drink and drive. This is a totally avoidable, needless death. People can take a cab, you can get a ride home, you can designate a driver, and you can save someone's life by just drinking responsibly. Jennifer Saucedo, Fox News at 9. The DA's office says when the cases go before a judge, prosecutors will push for the tough probation restrictions. One condition a judge can give defendants is a mandatory six months in jail.